questions did you have? Any comments? Anything that sparks something? Yes, Ms. Rana. So I'm just wondering what you think the impact is of what I call the black or soft mentality. So that mentality where come in jeans, come in your pajamas, you know, hang out, do fabulous work, you're brilliant, right? Got it. So we saw that um, strong, we saw that very strongly integrated in the Northwest. And I believe everything you say about the appearance, I think we still make those judgments, but the newer generations don't feel as strongly about that. Okay, did everybody hear that question? Mm -hmm. Basically, what do I have to say about the jeans look? I'm not a fan. I'm really not. Because of that slide that I put up there, that your job performance is correlated by how you show up. Unfortunately, in Southern California, people think flip-flops are the standard apparel item. And you know, flip-flops, in my opinion, are to go from the shower stall to the locker room. And that's it. They're bad for your feet. But it correlates. I was speaking at a very large law firm, and they, here I am dressed like this. Everyone comes in jeans. I'm not kidding you. This was like in the middle of the week, and t-shirts at a law firm. But guess who came in a nice suit? The partner in charge. And I told them, I said, why are you dressed like that? And the rest of them are dressed like that. Oh, because they like to, you know, be comfortable. Really? I wanted to say them. I bet you they're going to produce a lot better if they're dressed better, because that means they're taking better care of themselves. I mean, there's something to be said for comforts and casual Fridays, but consistently showing up like that, I think, really has an impact. So I, I'm not a fan. But a lot of people aren't fans of me when I say that. So, but I've got to say what I've got to say. All right, anybody else? Yes, Beverly. Follow-up follow question, Katie. If you're going to an event where you know, say, it's going to be generation Y, and everybody is going to be a jeans -y kind of person, yes. Is it still appropriate to, to go in your normal suit kind of business attire? Or should you be you know, business casual so you're still dressed a little better than they are, but not totally disconnected? OK, so the question was, how are you going to show up somewhere where everyone's going to be in that casual mode? The most important thing I tell my clients is you have to be comfortable. You know, Part of what we do with people is we dress people. And when I put them in something that looks fabulous, I had this one client was like, I feel fabulous, I look great. It's like, oh no, you can't wear that because you're uncomfortable. So you're not going to be personally branded well, you're not going to show up, you're not going to be effective there. So balance the comfort level out with showing up. I think you always want to stand out a little bit. And for me, that means wearing something that's unique and different in color and texture and pattern, something that's a conversation starter. Clothes are more conversation starters than you'd ever guess. They really, really are. But so you stand out from them, but you don't want to stand out so much that you differentiate, you know, with your back against people. So it's a balance and it's an individualized response. So, but I want you to be conscious of that. So when you ask that question, that means you're conscious of it. And next time you're going to think twice before you just charge on in there. Okay, good question. Yes. Thanks, Katie, so much. Um, of the women that you showed up there, one through four, in their dress and their mm -hmm. um, persona. Do you have an opinion of which one would be most appropriate um, in a generalized way? So is, do I have an opinion about which one of those four women would be most appropriate generally? And the answer to that is I can is that what you said? Yes, around being approachable. Around being approachable. Oh, good thing. Sorry. I, okay, so around being approachable. You know what, again, it's, it's so individualized because someone could pull off that suit in number two really well and own it and, you know, come across as confident, which is what we're going for, despite what they're doing. They could be selling, you know, arts on the street and come across. But it has to be you and you have to own that look. So I can't say across the board, but I will tell you if you're asking, the color red is actually a very approachable color. Orange, red, those colors, pinks, they're very endearing colors. So if you're, if you're in doubt, if you can get away with some hue in that, you're going to be more approachable in general. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Yes, Lenny. What about dressing a bit across type? Because depending on the job that you're trying to do. So the example would be, I am, if you're familiar with the disc assessment, I am a high D, which means I'm a little bit bottom line, punch line, uh, some would say assertive, some would say aggressive, depending on your point of view. <laughs> and that's the kind of personality you are by nature, but your job is that to be one of a helping 
mode where you have to listen and counsel and coach, you want to be approachable. So if I, my natural inclination is to be in very tailored things and all of that makes me look very austere if I have personalities that match it. Right. So in order to be approachable, I, I could be wrong. The, the thought process, though, was to be in the softer apparel so that it would not work exactly. against me. So how do you balance out being approachable if you're actually one of those very serious people, which a lot of us are, and what was the word you used? Austere? Mm -hmm. So really, that, that really is critical. It's uh, a lot of what we do when we're personally, when we're speaking, professional speakers, I always try to balance out what I wear so that you have to have credibility behind what you're saying, but you have to wear a color that lends itself to people being okay coming to you and asking you for help and asking questions. So it's a balance. You have, and that really works into the lines of the clothing you have on, the line, the color, the fit, the pattern, all of that is about the, the being taken credible part. And then you balance all that out with the colors you put under it. There's a lot of psychology there. It's not about looking good, but it's exactly what you said. So what that tells me about you, Lynn, is that you're thinking about it. And that's the critical part. So you're never going to be wrong there because you've got that in the back of your head every day. Good question. Anyone else? Yes, Miriam? I'm an engineer and I work with people all across the country and I'm usually on the phone and not, not in person. How much of this apply? Okay, good question. So Miriam's an engineer and usually deals with people over the phone. So how much of this applies? I come from a family of engineers, by the way. So I identify. <laughs> I'm the only uh, black sheep lawyer in the family. It, it, it definitely, definitely impacts you. Because that's the stuff I left out, which Cynthia's going to touch on. Your phone voice is critical. And people really pick up on that. And I've tested this out on accident and on purpose. There are days where I'm just like, not doing great. I have my days. And so I pick up the phone like, yeah. You know? And everyone always gets that. Whether they comment on it or not, it's like, yeah. That's the way you choose to be with me today, and it makes a difference. So here's what I'm telling you. What I do, I have a home office. I get up every morning, I work out, because that's my one hour a day to take care of myself. So the world could collapse around me, and I've gotten my workout in, and I'm good to go, whatever happens. Then I wear something. I'm not going to wear this. I rarely wear pantyhose, by the way. I'm just wearing it for you guys today. <laughs> but um, I, I'm going to wear something that I'm going to feel good in. And like I'm a winner in and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do good work for people because they deserve that from me. And you know, some days it's jeans, but it's never going to be sweats, it's never going to be shorts because it's just not in my mind how I give my best performance over the phone or whatever I'm doing. It's not fake when I say performance, it's me being genuine. But try it out, you know. Um, and that's why that whole thing with the Virginia bar is so credible. Because if you take an exam in jeans versus taking an exam in a suit, you're going to perform differently. So test it out. I know you're looking at me like I'm crazy, but try it out. You'll see. <laughs> okay. That's Jean. I'm going to say uh, one hour exercise. I really agree with you because um, if I miss it, somehow I make a mistake. Sometimes I, I, you, I don't have a temper. But when I don't do exercise, it comes out. So I have it two times this year. Like I'm usually running and jogging. But when I have so much, like we always do, right? But somehow that moment always come out the time I don't do exercise. Yeah. And you know, the workout part isn't about actually physical exercise. It's about doing something for yourself. So you can pass that on to someone else. And that goes beyond personal brand. That just goes into self-care and self-maintenance, which personal brand really is a huge part of, which is why you're here today, taking care of yourself so you can give that service back to someone else. So that's all the time I'm going to take for questions.